Hello everybody and welcome back to another blind commentary of Samurai Jack Season 2 Episode uh, 5 As per usual, outro <sighs> I've been told that the show gets a bit more intricate and complicated I'm waiting for that because While the show is of course rather proficient as, at what it does Which is entertaining interesting stories even without any important continuity in between. I would really like for there to be a bit more continuity and a bit more continuous storylines, but that is not necessary, because I thoroughly have enjoyed the first season already, so... But if those things are bound, if there's going to be more intricate, complex storylines, I will certainly be more entertained. Still. I think the show is entertaining enough, so let's just get on with the show proper. That's... I do love myself a good mystery, and this is certainly a pretty good setup for a mystery, I must say. And with, with, with a very good um, tinge of just horror sitting right on it. Which is ironic considering the episode I just recorded before this, so... Yeah, it's... I do love these kinds of mystery horror settings, and this is a pretty good setup for this episode about that. I must say that was rather proficiently made. Just... I imagine the directors of the show were the, the officials of the TV channel this was broadcasted on, and they are saying like, yeah, yeah, it's a kid's show. No living beings are harmed during it. Are you seeing the any violence? Yeah, yeah, but it's completely against robots. There's no gore in it whatsoever. There's no really terrifying. There's nothing really that disturbing any kind of murder scenes or anything like that. That's a corp corpse. That's that's a robot a robotic corpse for sure, but just just imagine that that was a real like human or humanoid being. That's How exactly was this aired for ki children? Because that takes guts. That's Like, that, I like how that's done, but it's just, I kind of would like to let my son see this, but, my kids see this, but, with a pretty big caveat, because, to take a look at that, let them look at that, that, that's, I know I'm focusing on it quite a bit, but just, the show hasn't, I would say an abundance of violence, although it doesn't use it just so without a purpose. Even if it is excessively violent when it gets violent. Let, let's just continue. Oh my god! Yeah! Just... I mean, I suppose they really just went to the just manager of the TV of the, of the chat network, and they were like, "Yeah, they are just robots. There's no human beings being harmed during this show." Because just that's horrific. Jesus, this okay. Yeah, talking about gory. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna beat this dead horse any longer, but just imagine if every robot was replaced with a humanoid being. Oh, this gets quite a bit darker. I like it, but... Jeez. Okay, so we saw a robot die on ja in Jack's hands. 
which is already quite a horrific little scene to witness. But before that, we saw a whole town get incinerated. Yeah, sure, they were robots, but they were burning to dust and ash. That's... How do you get this past sensors? How? Like... I mean, if you... If my channel's, my channel was monetized, YouTube would certainly have problems with this kind of material, because holy hell, that's violent. Oh my god. That face sums it up. It's a good build-up. It's, it's really good build-up. We just saw mutilated, dissected limbs. Just... How in the hell was this aired? Well, now we get on to the action. It's... What? The... Okay. Now, that's a pretty good way to add tension with Jack being unable to harm them. How in the hell I say what Of course he will survive. That's just that's a given, but how? Just okay. It's a good well done like tension I must say. I I am honestly rather surprised that the show can do tension so damn well when we've been shown how freaking unbeatable Jack is at combat and now he is running for his life. That's... That's well done. That's... That's a rather convenient power-up that he just gained. I certainly hope that the fight will still be difficult, because otherwise this will be kind of a disappointment. But other than that, that's a rather convenient. It's a really rather simplistic plot now, isn't it? Oh, it's surprising. I, I must say, having a rope, rope just be the explosive projectile of your choice is a rather odd choice. But I, I don't, I don't disagree with it. It's pretty cool and it's certainly unique. It's, it's just rather odd. But I must say, the fact that these robots really do complement one another rather well. They do have like very, very distinct di specializations for different things. That is pretty cool. They are, well, even though two of them serve basically the same purpose with machine guns and shooting guns, that's just, like that seems a rather redundant, I must say. But otherwise, they they all have rather distinctly cool and different weapons. That's pretty neat. Okay, that's that's pretty badass, ain't it? I want to be annoyed with the show, because that ending was really kind of a deus ex machina bullshit moment that was just kind of an ass pool. I want to be annoyed with that. I honestly do want to complain about that. But it looked fucking awesome. Uh, it's a problem my, my language, but that was really badass. That was really cool. I really am a sucker for something so just cheesy yet 
actually pretty freaking cool. Plus, I really have hoped that the magic would be used into a bit more effect. And that certainly did it. And that's pretty cool, because I've hoped that the power of the sword would be awakened at some moment. And even if it was for a brief moment, that was... It looked fantastic, it looked freaking awesome. That looked... I really liked... I, I liked that ending, even if I feel like I should be complaining about it a bit more. Now, the episode itself... Oh boy, the episode actually takes on quite a bit of a horror-centric theming to it, with just, just untouchable, unbeatable assassin robots, each specifically designed to complement each other's skill sets and be undefeatable. And boy, that was... just the build-up to them alone was worth the episode. That was really, really well done build up for a straight up horror and the tension and that's a good build up and I'm really satisfied with that. Even if the battle itself did not actually end up being that impressive or it, I mean it was impressive but it wasn't really all that in it wasn't all that suspenseful but it was intense, it was entertaining and it was badass. It was really good to watch, look good to look at, and it's really quite beautifully animated, and yeah, it honestly did do all the tricks that it should do quite well, even if the story was as to be expected. But it's to be expected, so you can't really complain about that. But it was done so freaking well, and it was honestly quite entertaining, and it's been a while since we've seen Jack actually struggle, and now we saw him struggle and get beaten up quite horribly. And that's pretty good. It just raises the stakes. It's a pretty good episode, and it's a simple, very, very simplistic episode, with a very straightforward, very easy to understand and digest storyline, yet it has some, of, like so far, it has some of the best moods in the first half. It has some of the best build-ups so far. Now, I do think that the uh, exposition dump that we need, we got, kind of brought it down quite a bit and honestly was a rock in the road for the pacing of the episode. But it's a necessary thing because we kind of needed that exposition even if I feel like we didn't necessarily need it. I feel like that could have been just stripped out, and they could have remained mysterious, murderous robots without too much of a background. Or the background could have been less. I just feel like there was things that could have been done better. That's not to say that it, there's anything bad with the that I mean, of course, what I'm saying, I'm saying bad things about the episode. So I'm not gonna go taking that back. But. It's not that like that they ruined the episode. It still has fantastic action, really suspense, suspenseful, the good build-up, and um, immaculate pacing disregarding the exposition scene. It's a fantastic episode. That being said, I thank you all very much for watching. I hope to you all in the future. Great day and stay awesome. Ganmu, out. Thank you very much for watching.